Good afternoon. It's C. Jonathan Hardy. I'm resident of uh, New Britain. I'm also the executive, I'm an, an executive board member of the Connecticut Citizens Defense League. We're a firearms rights organization. You might be wondering why I might be here today. Usually, I'm spending a whole lot of time here fighting to keep some of my rights. This is some of the legislation here is exactly what we've always been in support of for quite some time: punish the criminal, not the law-abiding citizen. In specific, SB 123, or the House equivalent, I kind of forgot the bill number by now, I've been here a long time, but uh, some might say the program might not go far enough, but um, bottom line, I grew up in this neighborhood, I live in New Britain now, I saw a lot of violent crime, you know, we had an old saying, if you did the crime, you do the time, and uh, that was it. Where is justice served when we have minimum sentencing guidelines that let violent offenders out? I constantly read in the paper where someone commits a white collar crime and they do more time than someone that commits rape and sometimes even murder because of, of uh, like Madoff is a great example of that. We have too many names of victims that this bill kind of punished here, so I'm not going to even go down that, that road. But that allowed for certain exemptions, sometimes like mental health, uh, temporary insanity, and you know what? Even uh, nonviolent offenders, I think that you know, we spend too much money on them. This legislation that this bill originally uh, came into being ticked me off as a gun owner because when it was being discussed, it might have been in this room, we were fighting a magazine cap down the other hall. And here we are fighting to keep our rights in one room while you're letting violent criminals, I don't mean you guys individually, I'm just saying the legislature, letting violent criminals out even early. And living, now taking care of my mother, I'm married and I've seen a lot of this. <sighs> it's hard to hide, hide being furious, but law-abiding citizens... Uh, do not need more rules. We need to, you know, keep the criminals behind bars. Uh, the part of this that really drove me nuts a couple years ago was to save a few bucks. We actually wasted money all over the place in state government. We're going to sit there and cut it on prisons and violent offenders and put, save some of this money in the general fund. Being a new resident of New Britain, I've seen a very nice waste of money. We got this uh, bus, bus way to nowhere. You know, we got dead lot on one end, dead lot on the other end, and a whole lot of money being spent in between. I never could get behind this busway, and I've spoken against it in the past, but I do have one suggestion. You guys can turn my mind around on that. Put a courthouse on one end, put a prison on the other end, make it an expressway, and I'm all for it. I urge you to support this bill, or either one. If you want to carve out for the exceptions, I can, I can hang in with that. But I keep hearing, I'll leave you with this one point. I keep hearing in the gun control debate, if it saves one life. But you know what? Law-abiding citizens are the ones that are following the law. Criminals do not. This bill, since its inception, has taken lives. It's caused a lot of crime, violent crime, and that's irreprehensible. And I think we need to support some of this legislation, keep violent offenders behind bars, and deal with the other consequences of nonviolent offenders later on. Thank you very much. Senator Kissel. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Hardy, thank you so much. And you had spoken to me in the hallway briefly, and... I just think for all everyone's education, how many hours have you spent in the last two weeks in this building? Well, 65 hours in the past two weeks I've been here. Now that two nights past one in the morning. That is citizen participation. You deserve a medal for that. Thank, Thank you, you for much. participating in our government. With pe people like you continually holding us accountable for our policies, we will continue to make progress. So thank you, sir. I don't mind losing some sleep to come down here. Thank you.